Welcome everyone to southern France. Oh yes, that little red dot on the horizon, that's me. Hi, my name is Mira. I'm standing on a place you never heard of. Well, why would you? Except for beautiful horses and green hills, there is nothing to remember in here. And yet, I remember this place more than any other. Because right here, right on this ridge, I broke my knee during my first ever solo trip around Europe, exactly 11 years ago. From right here, I had to get myself to the closest town to have my knee checked. And since I travel alone, it was not an easy thing to do. After many painful steps, I reached saint jean pierre de port Local doctor told me that my knee was in a bad shape. I tore some ligaments in it. And so, this stupid accident ended my two years long trip after only six months of traveling. But now, I'm back. And here is what's coming up in my new travel series. I'm going to take you on a trip across Pyrenees, a beautiful mountain range between France and Spain. I'm going to start by the Atlantic Ocean and finish by the Mediterranean Sea. And for the first time ever, I'm gonna show you every step on this incredible journey. I'm gonna show you where to sleep, what to eat, where to wash yourself, but most importantly, I'm gonna show you the most amazing trails you can walk on, on your through hike across Pyrenees. As you can see, there is a lot of stories to tell. But let's start with the story of where it all began. It was winter when I jumped in my car and set off on my road trip. I live in the Czech Republic, so in the direction of France, first I had to travel through Germany. After six years of working behind a camera and a computer, I was so happy to just walk in the nature and do nothing else. On the way, I remembered that five years ago I shot the wedding of a lovely couple from Luxembourg. So I decided to visit them on my way to France. And even though I tend to avoid big cities on my travels, Visiting the capital of Luxembourg was a great idea. For two whole weeks, I went on day trips around the city and enjoyed its beautiful corners without crowds of tourists. And without expecting it, Luxembourg quickly rose to the top of my list of the most beautiful European capitals. Just look at it. Architecture and nature in romantic harmony. But Luxembourg is more than just the capital. Welcome everyone to the Vianden Castle. Set on a rocky promontory overlooking the river just an hour away by train and bus from the capital, it's the perfect place for a day trip. The first building on this site was built in 275 and today 
after hundreds of years of flourishing and decline of this fortification, you can visit the castle all year round. But even if you are not interested in architecture, you can still enjoy walking in the surrounding woods just like I did. This is the ruin of the Falkenstein Castle near the village Waldhof Falkenstein in Germany. You can get here on foot in just two hours from Vianden Castle. Sadly, that was the end of my travels in Luxembourg. I got COVID during my third week in Luxembourg. Believe me, treating COVID in a car and in the freezing cold is not pleasant. It was actually the worst experience I've ever had in my car. After a week of parking at the railway station, where I went to get clean water and to use the toilet, I gave up and headed south to France. After three weeks of wandering around the car, I finally started to feel better. And the first time I went on a trip without feeling like I was going to die of exhaustion after 200 meters of walking, I was really happy that everything was as it should be. And so, I continued south. This is Vesole. On the edge of this beautiful town, I woke up to a frosty morning on the 44th day of my journey to the Pyrenees. About one million tourists a year come to admire the historic buildings of this town. But I was here almost alone. Personally, I'm not interested in souvenir shops or restaurants, so I walked straight to the basilica on the top of the hill. And what a masterpiece of Romanesque architecture it is. Just look at it. In the next episode, I'm gonna take you to the Atlantic Ocean. I'm gonna show you everything what I've seen, and believe me, coming to the ocean for the man who lives in the heart of Europe, that's a big deal. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to not to miss any of my upcoming travel videos. Thank you for that and see you next time.